A is for aardvark. Aardvarks live in Africa and come out at night. An aardvark will snuffle around for termites and ants to eat, lapping them up with their long tongue. B is for butterfly, beetle and bee. These are all types of insect and have six legs. Can you count them? Butterfly wings are big and colourful. Beetles have hard cases covering their wings. The fast moving wings of a bee make it go buzz. Can you buzz like a bee? C is for crocodile. Take a look at this crocodile's smile. See how big its teeth are? Can you snap, snap, snap with your arms like a crocodile does with its jaws? D is for dodo. The dodo was a bird that lived on the island of Mauritius. It had very small wings and couldn't fly. The dodo died out over 300 years ago. Our skeleton is made of bones that were found in the Merosange swamp by people feeling for them with their feet and picking them up with their toes. What can you pick up with your toes? E is for elephant. We have two elephants in the museum, an African elephant and an Asian elephant. Can you see their tusks? These are skeletons, but when they're alive, elephants have big flappy ears and a long, long trunk. Can you use your arm like an elephant's trunk? F is for flamingo. See how the adult flamingo is pink, but the flamingo chick has grey fluffy feathers. Flamingos get their pink colour from the food that they eat, tiny animals that they sieve out of the water with a specially shaped beak. What colour would you be if you got your colour from your food? G is for giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animals alive today. They have really, really long necks so they can reach leaves high up in the trees. They also stand right on the tips of their toes. Their feet make up a lot of the length of their legs. How tall can you make yourself? Stand on your tiptoes and stretch up, up, up. H is for hedgehog. These prickly creatures come out at night and snuffle around for worms and slugs and caterpillars to eat. Hedgehogs protect themselves by rolling up into a spiny ball. Can you roll up like a hedgehog? I is for iguana. Unlike most lizards, iguanas eat plants. Here's a lesser Antillean iguana, and here is a marine iguana from the Galapagos Islands. This animal feeds on algae that it scrapes off rocks in the sea. J is for jaboa. Take a look at how long its back legs are, like a kangaroo's. Jaboas are rodents that are really good at jumping. Can you jump like a jaboa? K is for kakapo. The kakapo is the world's heaviest parrot. No surprise then that it can't fly. Kakapos live on islands off New Zealand, where they come out at night to forage for fruit, seeds and other bits of plant to eat. L is for lion. Did you know that a group of lions is called a pride? Lions are predators with big teeth and a loud roar. Can you roar like a lion? M is for monkey. Did you know that there are more than 260 types of monkey alive today? Most live in the trees, and some, like this one from South America, can grip onto branches with their tail. N is for narwhal. A narwhal is a type of whale from the Arctic Ocean. Male narwhals have a long tusk growing out of the front of the head. But just look at our narwhal. It's got two tusks. O is for a carpi. Akarpis live in a rainforest in Central Africa. They have a long tongue that they use to strip leaves off trees and shrubs in the same way that their cousins the giraffes do. P is for platypus. The platypus is from Australia. It is a mammal, but it lays eggs. And that duck-like bill? It has cells in it that can sense electrical signals, helping it to find prey underwater. Q is for Quetzal. This is a resplendent Quetzal from South America. Just look at its glorious green feathers. This is a male Quetzal and has really long tail feathers. R is for Rhinoceros. This is the skeleton of a white rhinoceros from Africa. The word rhinoceros means nose horn. 
Can you count how many horns our rhino has on its nose? S is for starfish. How many arms does this starfish have? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. Most starfish have five arms, but some have more. This one has 19. And you can barely see the arms under all the spines in this crown of thorn starfish. T is for turtle and tortoise. These animals are famous for their shells. The domed shell over the back is fused to the backbone and partly made by the ribs. Another shell called the plastron protects the tummy. Some tortoises have quite a boxy shell, while in some turtles it is more streamlined for swimming. U is for unicorn fish. This is a blue spine unicorn fish from the coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It gets its name from the spine between its eyes, just like a unicorn's horn. V is for vole. This is a field vole, a small rodent that lives in grasslands and moorlands in the UK. Here it eats seeds, roots and leaves of plants. W is for whale. This is the biggest skeleton in the museum and belongs to a fin whale. It is a whopping 21 metres long. Can you see it looks to have a giant sweeping brush inside its mouth? This is made of stuff called baleen and it sieves tiny bits of food out of seawater to eat. X is for Xenarthra. This is the group of mammals that includes the sleepy sloths, armoured armadillos and anteating anteaters. They live in South America and in the past they got pretty big. The giant ground sloth died out about 8,000 years ago but grew to over three and a half metres tall. Which is your favourite Xenarthran? Y is for Yeti Crab. These peculiar creatures are from the depths of the Southern Ocean near Antarctica. They live around hydrothermal vents that spew out hot water filled with chemicals. Z is for Zebra. Did you know that each zebra has its own unique pattern of black and white stripes? Zebras live in Africa, where they can be found in grasslands, woodlands and on 